The new fence at Israel's border with Egypt stands about six meters high, reaches far underground, and bristles with sensors and high-tech surveillance equipment aimed at stopping all would-be trespassers. Israel, which is surrounded by what it sees as hostile neighbors, has become an expert in border security, or put more simply, building walls and fences. What you see here along the Egyptian border is part of a bigger plan by Israel to surround its entire territory with a high-tech fence. Israel began working on this fence a few years ago, ostensibly for security reasons, but also to stop African migrants and refugees from entering the country illegally. The formidable barrier, which was completed in 2013, all but choked off the flow of people, from more than 12,000 in 2010 to just a dozen or two per year now. Shahar Nachmani, an Israeli soldier who works at the border, tells me the fence is so high that would-be crossers need the help of another person to get over it, and typically a ladder too. Touching the fence activates an alarm. While the wall that Israel is best known for is its controversial West Bank security barrier, which was built to stop suicide bombings, the country is now building high-tech fences and walls around all of its external international borders too. The aim of the project is to keep out what Benjamin Netanyahu, the country's right-wing leader, calls the beasts in the neighborhood, a reference to the Islamist and jihadi groups active in the Middle East. Israel has become such an expert in border technology that it is now an export product that the country is selling to customers in North and South America, Europe and Asia too. Elbit, Israel's biggest listed defense group, has built what it calls an electronic wall at the Arizona-Mexican border for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Donald Trump, the populist U.S. presidential candidate, has famously spoken of building a wall at the Mexican border, citing Israel as a testament to the effectiveness of such barriers. But there is some evidence to the contrary. Israeli officials and local residents who live near the Egyptian and Syrian borders say that the new fences there have indeed put a stop to most illegal crossings. But what Mr. Trump may not know is that the West Bank separation barrier is notoriously porous. It gets crossed illegally every week by thousands of Palestinian workers and occasionally by violent attackers too. It has a number of gaps in it, which Mr. Netanyahu now says he wants to close. Raful Rofa, a Palestinian human rights activist who fought the building of a new section of wall near Bethlehem, tells me he has seen people using ladders, ropes, and other means to cross the barrier. Uh, Israel claims that the wall works. Uh, it claims that uh, after building the separation wall, the number of attacks dropped drastically against it. Uh, on the other hand, I saw people jumping over the separation wall on several occasions. You cannot Try, keep people uh, locked up in a certain area without giving them an option to work and to fend for themselves. Israel Ziv, an Israeli security consultant, helped to build the West Bank barrier when he was in the military. He concedes that while walls can be effective tools for maintaining security, they are less good at stopping economic migrants dead set on crossing into a country. When we talk about the, the motivation of, of Palestinians, you know, to come and, and get uh, employment in Israel, uh, they will dare to cross and they will invent uh, new methods to cross. Uh, of course, that uh, defense is, is useful, but not against all cases. And when the, there is a very strong need uh, to come to find a job in Israel, I think that there are many that find those uh, holes in the fence and succeed to go, uh, to go, go across. Mr. Ziv also says that a physical wall is just one part of a broader border security strategy that should also incorporate other tools and policies, including good neighborly relations. Even Elbit, who are building the border system in Arizona, say that physical walls and fences, including the most high-tech ones, have their limitations, and non-physical detection systems offer a more reliable solution. We believe that the electronic uh, solution uh, has far more advantages than any physical. Uh, it does detect uh, early, uh, long range. Uh, the information is gathered from multi-sensors. Israel sees itself as a major high-tech power and a microcosm of a tougher world made more insecure recently by terrorism, the unchecked flow of migrants, and war. If it's right, the move to cordon itself off through imposing physical barriers and advanced electronics could provide the rest of us with a glimpse of things to come. 
John Reed, Financial Times, at the Israeli-Egyptian border.